In just seconds, the Miller's summer road trip became a fight for survival. Panic, had a little two second freak out and poor James, like I said, he was napping, so he woke up and he went Whoop. Natalie had reached into the back seat to hand their two and a half year old son a snack and veered off the road into a flooded field. This can't be happening to me right now. Like this can't be happening. Like this is this is going to be bad. The SUV was sinking. Water pressure had jammed the door shut. Then we had tried the, the windows to roll the windows down and open the sunroof, but the electronics had short circuited so they wouldn't open. Terrifying for anyone, but for Natalie, it's my worst fear. I've had it for as long as I can remember. So much so, she and James had researched how to survive being trapped in a vehicle and came across a source of information that may surprise you. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Comedian Rick Mercer, with some help from a Winnipeg scientist, advises what works and what doesn't. Kick it! Use both feet! Yeah, but there is a much easier way. So Natalie's husband gave her one of these, a spring-loaded window punch worth about $10, just to calm her fears. He never imagined they'd need it to save their lives. Window. I pressed it into the window and the glass shattered and I think it surprised James because he looked over at me and he said, oh, you're out. I passed him the punch. He told me to get swim out and help get Alex. Okay, covered up Alex with my blanket, my hoodie. I broke his window. After that initial panic, they realized they had an escape plan. And today they're grateful for the chance to laugh with the funny man who made it happen. I don't know if There's you want to. Easier ways he's to a hero. <laughs> you don't have to do this. I mean, I'm very accessible. <laughs> we should have just called. Uh, we're big fans, and we really appreciate that you did that segment because most people don't have a plan. Seconds count. And when I think about our little boy, I mean, I wouldn't want to waste any time. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.